Hey everybody, this is Dr. Sam Watkins, physical therapist and strength coach at MoveMend Rehab and Performance. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you all about what ACL exercises to avoid. First, I wanna get into the whole idea of good versus bad exercises. I hear it all the time on social media, XYZ exercise is a horrible exercise, deadlifts are bad, you're gonna herniate a disc, do hamstring curls instead, okay. But what if you're trying to improve your raw strength to increase your vertical jump? Or I hear slow running is a waste of time. You have to do high intensity interval training. But what if you want to train to do an ultra marathon? The whole point here is that no exercise is inherently good or bad. An exercise is good if the movement pattern and the challenge level are appropriate to drive adaptations in your body to help you achieve your goals. So should we ask what ACL exercises to avoid? In the context of ACL rehab, this is going to vary depending on where you are in your rehab process and the time since your surgery. If you're 10 months out from surgery and things have been going well, there's not necessarily any specific ACL exercises you need to avoid. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're one week out from your surgery, you should not be doing full range, heavy knee extensions. That would be too much load on a freshly repaired ACL. But heavy isometric knee extensions at 90 degrees could be a great way to work your quads early on because at this angle there is no stress on the ACL. Things aren't as clear cut as good and bad exercises that need to be done or avoided, but I'm gonna provide you with some ACL exercises to avoid in certain phases of ACL rehab and some alternative ACL exercises to do in their place. One exercise I would avoid early on are prone knee extension hangs. This is an ACL range of motion exercise working on knee straightening where you lay on your stomach with your ankle hanging off the table, maybe with an ankle weight to add some extra force. This is an exercise people are often given after ACL surgery or other knee surgeries. And I personally am not a fan of these for people early on in the rehab process because they just hurt. Your kneecap is getting compressed into your knee and it's not a position that's easy to scale back. So people aren't able to fully relax into it when the knee is pretty sensitive after a recent surgery. I've seen several people who come work with us after failing ACL rehab at other facilities. And many of these people have been doing these to work on knee extension. And even after a few months, they're still struggling to fully straighten their knee. Instead of a prone knee extension hang, I would much prefer a seated or laying knee extension hang early on in the process. I like this variation more because it allows you to more easily scale the stretch by rolling up a towel or using something on your knee like a half foam roller, just providing yourself with enough support so you can still feel the stretch, but not making it automatically so intense that you can't relax into it. The whole point of the exercise is to get a stretch, but to be able to hold it for a long enough period of time to actually lengthen the tissues so you can work on that knee extension. Another ACL exercise I would avoid early on in ACL rehab is a quad stretch on your stomach. I find that the passive tension of the quads in this position puts too much tension and pressure on the knee joint. This extra tension on an already sore knee might mean that we're not able to actually target the knee flexion, the bending, range of motion as much as we are trying to. Later in rehab, it's not a bad idea to do some quad stretching in this position, but early on, this is an ACL exercise to avoid. Instead, I would recommend sticking to exercises to work on flexion where the thigh is brought up more toward the chest, as in this position, the quads are in a shortened position. Exercises like assisted knee flexion poles with a strap are great for this as well as wall slides. With the wall slides, you also get the added benefit of elevation to help with some swelling management. So now I wanna get into squats. Squats might seem like a weird one for me to say it should be avoided in ACL rehab. And I definitely don't think that they should be avoided totally, but in my opinion, they aren't the best option for targeting your quads and other important muscle groups on the surgical leg. Research has shown that in people who are doing really well in their ACL rehab, they're multiple months out from surgery, there is still a shift of their weight off of the surgical leg when doing body weight squats. This shift, it's not visible with our eyes, so you can't feel it. It's picked up with some super detailed force plates and motion capture technology. Essentially, ACL rehabbers are going to shift load off of the repaired side to make it easier for that weaker leg, whether they realize it or not. And if this was seen with bodyweight squats, which are pretty easy, it's definitely gonna happen with a more challenging squat, right, with added load or with deeper ranges of motion. So don't get me wrong, I still think some squatting should be done throughout the ACL rehab process, but because of this shift off of the weaker side, I think that the majority of exercises should focus on loading one leg at a time. ACL exercises like a weighted step up are a great option early on in rehab. They're pretty low stress on the knee. And as time goes on, you could shift into doing something more like a lateral heel tap from a box. 